Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having a lovely day now. It's been so long since I've been filmed with some videos. I know I've had a few people be messaging me and asking me if I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm gonna be doing a life update. If it's not gonna be up here already, it'll be up shortly. I promise, promise, promise you, but I'm gonna be back now and I'm gonna be trying to film weekly videos again. But anyway, I have a lovely jubbly wax melt review video, which I have come in right now. This is from Mayhom Melts. If any of you remember back around Christmas time, I was sent some gorgeous goodies to review some wax melts and I have tried all of them now. So I like to try every single one of my wax melts, ideally more than once if I can. And yeah, I like to give like a nice, honest and fair review. Um, this was sent to me to review. I didn't purchase this myself, but as you all know, that would not influence my, I, you know, my thoughts on the product whatsoever. So I'm just going to dive right in. And some of these are Christmas scents that, you know, which, you know, been and gone now, but I got them sort of in December-y sort of time anyway, from what I believe. So I wanted to give them a fair, you know, a fair try. And some just little general sort of scents that you can use all year round. I think I have lots of bakery scents in now. I have in there some sort of clean scents. So scents you can use all year round. So these aren't just Christmas scents that I'm reviewing for you, you know, so this is mainly other scents as well. So let me just grab some here. So I have here here. I have here mauled cider. This one is Christmas. This was called um what was it called? Oh, brain has gone dead. Just says Christmas wax melts. I have here love spell and I have various others so I'm just going to dive right in and the first one I have here is a bakery set which I actually have burning again right now in my kitchen and this is lemon meringue now if any of you have been watching my videos for a while you will all know how much I love bakery sweet cakey scents anything of that nature and I'm absolutely drawn to it and I absolutely love it of course only if they're a good wax melt but I love those kind of scents so this is lemon meringue the packaging you were seeing from my previous video is very very plain packaging so I will not be doing close-ups of these however it's just a basic you know kind of shell where you can pull off the top and you've got, I don't want to get this everywhere, and you get sort of a few bits, a bit of flaky sort of segments which you can take out, so you can use as little or as much as you want. I recommend with these, try just using one, and if you feel you want to have a stronger scent, use two. I haven't really felt the need to do that with these though, however. So let's just go into this first wax melt here, which is a lemon meringue. Really, really gorgeous scent. Not overly sweet, 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 if that makes sense. I've had some lemon meringue scents before which are overly sweet and slightly sickly. This isn't like that at all. It is a nice, soft, like a, a soft sweet, if that makes sense. There's a softness to the lemon meringue in this. So the lemon is nice, soft and sweet, and you do pick up on that slightly creamy um, meringue in there as well. Not overly creamy, but a nice scent all the same I really really liked it the only thing for me just because of how I am I mean I'd say this was still really strong I'd say out of 10 being the strongest this was I'd say about a seven so for me if it was a little bit stronger I'd love it but not everybody loves their wax melts to be as overpowering as I do I understand that but a gorgeous gorgeous scent lasts a really really long time you're gonna get probably at least two tea lights out of one cube and for my memory these are all around the three pounds mark so really really good value for money and you of course you get you get all these segments here so you've got one two three four five six you in all oh, really you've got six times to burn this wax so i think it's a really really good deal okay the next one i have here is love spell and these are just sort of little stars let me just get one out so you can see the size a little bit better so that's the size there of the love spell wax melts now your classic kind of love spell scent really you know that kind of slightly spicy kind of fruity sweet kind of scent i'm not a huge huge fan of the love spell scent i don't dislike it it's just not one of my favorites if that makes sense but it was a really really nice scent um soft sweet with a hint of spice and i'd say a very soft hint of spice in there and not over not an overly spicy scent but i'd say this is probably again about seven out of ten for strength and again lasts for a good old amount of time you're going to get at least a couple of wax melts out of that one i was trying to find spaces to put this i'm not very organized this is my first video filming you know after over a month off um but now the next one i have here is mauled cider and now these are big old little hot big old little that makes no sense whatsoever these are big big apples here and 
love this scent gorgeous 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 this is good for i'd say i'd say autumn time for when it comes to fall with you know autumn and you get all those gorgeous oh like the clove nutmeg cinnamon but to be honest with you i burn, I burn those kind of scents all year round i am a seasonal burner but i do love those kind of scents as well super duper strong out of 10 i'd say about an eight eight and a half actually thinking about it now really really good scent gorgeous scents um like i said you pick up on that sort of slightly you know the apple cider with all those gorgeous gorgeous other sort of spices in there you know like the clove nutmeg cinnamon all of that absolutely gorgeous scent now this is the christmas one here this is just called sorry about the bell that's going to be annoying any of you just called christmas trees and this is a brittle and you get a good old amount now i believe this was a bit more but it's got always oh don't break get all these um brittle in there gorgeous 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 really true to life like a christmas tree basically i think this would be a great one to burn on christmas day if it's a nice cool crisp day and you know it's snowing and all that kind of stuff you can put that out there and you know but put that out there you can burn that wax and it will bring you know christmas to life so to speak and again really really good scent really true to life kind of pine tree kind of scent with a slight hint in there i'd say of like a men's cologne which you do tend to get in a lot of the christmas tree kind of scents but gorgeous scent it was really strong i lasted a really really long time now let me just try and grab the ones i have left here i have as you can see here another bundle here so it's one of my hairs in there not attractive i have here now blueberry cheesecake oh look it really matches my top and don't judge me this is a christmas jumper but it's actually snowing outside we didn't have any snow over christmas it wasn't cold at all so i thought you know this jumper is a little bit universal it's got a little bit of glitter on there and i just thought you know what i'm wearing it today and i couldn't give a toss for what anyone else thinks so this is blueberry cheesecake really really true to life blueberry scent and you know what yeah really really still very very true to life and the funny thing is with a lot of blueberry scents i have found that a lot of them don't really smell very strong of any blueberry at all i find that the blueberry is very wishy-washy and if it is in there it's really artificial this is a very very true to life blueberry scent you do get the hint of cheesecake in there but more blueberry so if you're after a majorly cheesecakey scent you're not going to get that you're going to get mainly blueberry with an undertone of cheesecake in there i'd say this is about a seven out of ten for strength really really nice so as i was saying before my camera decided to die on me schoolboy error of not deleting footage before you do a new video after yonks is that you know a lot of blueberry scents i find are quite sort of wishy-washy and if you do get, actually smell anything of any wax melt in the blueberry fragrance they're kind of artificial this isn't like that at all very very true to life blueberry scent with an undertone of cheesecake like i said if i'd like to improve this anymore i'd like it to be slightly more creamy and have a little bit more of the cheesecake kick in there but it's still a very 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 nice scent and i could say I'd, I'd say for this one it was a little bit weaker i'd say it's probably about a six and a half out of ten for scent for strength but last again a really really long time and i have a couple left here i have here um clean cotton fragrance now i do find it kind of not hard but like all these clean cotton scents to me sound smell near enough the same and i have no problem with that i think they're really really good scent to burn around sort of springtime when you know the, the weather's changing and especially if you're doing some spring cleaning or something like that i think this is a perfect perfect scent to melt um but yeah you your basic clean cotton fragrance but super strong yeah really 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 strong just smells of like nice clean fresh laundry i'd say about a nine out of ten super duper strong and yeah if you love a clean cotton scent you're gonna love that one so now i have left a couple here and i'm gonna leave the best till last in my opinion but now i have here this was a uh, fresh cut roses and they came in these gorgeous little rose shapes if you can see that at all on the camera and just your classic rose petal scent now i'm not a huge 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 fan of rose scents to be honest with you but that one i didn't mind i actually i wouldn't say i did enjoy it a little bit no i did i didn't mind it um i wouldn't want to burn it you know or in every room of the house it would be a bit too much but i didn't mind the rose scent you know but they're definitely rose scent isn't my favorite i'm not gonna lie but if you're loving the rose scent which i know they're quite popular right now you have to try that one because it is a gorgeous soft rose petal scent and you're gonna love it i can almost guarantee you love it it's because if somebody like me who is not a fan of the rose scents enjoyed it 
you're gonna love it as well. Again, that is super strong. I say you do not even need to use the full wax knot there. Cut it in half, see how you get on. Nine out of 10 for strength. Super strong. And yeah, if you love rose scents, you are definitely, definitely gonna love that one. Now, the last but not least I have here is um, Cherry Amaretto. Now, when I saw this scent in the box, I was like, this is start my street. I have it burning downstairs now today and I absolutely blinking love it. You get the gorgeous cherry with like an undertone, not undertone, but you get like a cherry with the sort of equal part scent of amaretto in there and it's absolutely blinking gorgeous. I'd say this is, I mean, you can burn this in my eyes all year round, but it would be perfect, I'd say, around the holidays, but I absolutely love this cherry amaretto scent. I think it's fantastic. As I said, burning downstairs in my living area right now, right now can't get enough of it absolutely love it so all in all I think these are really really good value for money I will leave all of the details for all of these um for, for the company in the description box so if you want to have a look at their page and go and buy anything or try anything you know do you know go and have a look go and have a nose I don't the only one downsize but downsize the only one downside I'd say is that I think the packaging can definitely be improved um but I'm not I'm not overly fussed with packaging I think if you're going to be giving something to somebody as a gift you might be more bothered but if they're for yourself they're just plain and simple and it doesn't bother me to be honest with you but the only thing I'd say yeah I think the packaging could definitely be improved um I think the packaging could be a bit better but other than that the actual product itself was really really good as I said my favorite was definitely cherry amaretto and I did really enjoy the mall cider and the um, lemon meringue as well but actually anyone who knows me will know they are the scents I'm super duper drawn to but all in all I am impressed for the price I think they're really really good as I said for one of these I think it was around about a three pound mark it was the last time maybe three three fifty which is not bad um, I think there's such strong competition in the wax community right now for everything to be so cheap so cheap Cheap, so cheap and what everyone needs to remember people need to make a profit on this and I do get a little bit cross when I see people complaining that stuff is too expensive what you, people are starting to expect people to produce products for such a price that it, they're not making anything on it at all and that's just not fair it's not fair it really really isn't and you have to remember companies like Yankee and all the rest of it who have huge, you know, the huge organization, worldwide brand, are selling stuff that is more expensive than these people. They have like a, I mean, God, they have everything at their disposal. A lot of the time, these people doing these wax melts are like a one person band, you know, and they're doing everything themselves. They're making the products, they're packaging them, they're promoting them all themselves. And you expect them to be you know selling them for cheaper than a really you know high for another high street brand it's just it's just not fair in my opinion but that's just my little two cents on it but i do think we should try and support sort of local or you know basically i don't know just oh, not necessarily the high street um chains of wax melts really i think you should try and support sort of independent indie vendors if you can um if they're really, really expensive of course don't bother if you can't afford that but i do think we need to be fair on what we are expecting our vendors to be you know at the price they're meant to be charging you know be fair you know if you were doing it would you want to be working for free i don't think so but anyway all in all super super impressed one little thing, packaging could be improved, but the actual product itself was fabulous. And yeah, I enjoyed them all. I really, really did. So I will be looking forward to see what they bring out in the coming months. But anyway, I hope you've all enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new. I'll be bringing up lots more. Bringing up, I will be filming many more home fragrance related videos along with other stuff as well. But yeah, hope you all have a lovely day and I hope to see you again soon.